Technology is proving to be a game changer in the healthcare industry. It has the potential to improve many lives. New age tech solutions are revolutionizing diagnosis, treatment, and patient care. Our next report gets you more details. Parkinson's is a degenerative neurological disease. It causes symptoms such as tremors, stiffness, and difficulty with balance and coordination. According to global estimates, more than 8.5 million people suffered from this disease in 2019. It seems technology can now offer the possibility of improved quality of life for people with Parkinson's disease. Meet Mark Gautier, a Parkinson's disease patient. He was confined to his house due to debilitating mobility issues. But it all changed after he became the first person to receive a new Swiss-designed implant. It changed my life because now I can leave my home, run errands. I even go on foot to exercise. 63-year-old Gautier received a neuroprosthetic. It's composed of an electrode field placed against his spinal cord combined with an electrical impulse generator under the skin of his abdomen. The device stimulates his spinal cord to activate his leg muscles. In other words, the Swiss-designed implant has dramatically improved his ability to walk. Dr. Gregoire Cortin of the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne co-led the project. The technology is a neurostimulator that delivers precise pulses of electricity to the region of the spinal cord involved in the control of leg muscles. And the pulses are delivered at the correct location with the correct timing in order to reproduce the way the spinal cord is activated naturally in order to walk. The implant, which has been designed by the Netherlands-based tech company called Onward Medical, is unique in its ability to target the spinal cord in a specific and flexible way. The device itself, which I showed you, the neurostimulator and lead, it's very similar to devices that are currently implanted to manage pain. So the procedure is very similar. The reimbursement codes exist all over the world. It's just that our device has uh, very specific and special ways, unique ways of delivering stimulation to the spinal cord. That's what makes it different. So for the healthcare system, it will look and feel familiar, but it will offer therapy that doesn't exist today. The findings suggest the technology could be used more widely in advanced Parkinson's patients.